I was just offered $400 to make an anti-Donald Trump propaganda post related to the January 6th investigation that is completely not true. I should start out this video by saying I'm not a Donald Trump supporter, so that should give a little bit of context to where I'm coming from. I'm an attorney, I post legal news and analysis on related topics. Okay, here we go with the story. So first thing first, I get an email from somebody with the Good Info Foundation. We'll talk about them a little more in a minute. I'm gonna refer to this person as Jane. Jane sent me a message letting me know she represented the Good Info Foundation and that she was willing to offer a paid collaboration to discuss some topics related to January 6th. I said, sure, why not? I'll learn some more. Jane says the Good Info Foundation will give me $400 to make a post on my page and then share it to Instagram. So you see that blue link? All right, here, we're gonna follow it. These are the specific requirements in order to obtain that $400 of how I should refer to the January 6th Capitol raid. Number one, I must call this a criminal conspiracy. Number two, I must say Trump Republicans were responsible. Number three, I must frame it as an attack on my country, an attack on America or Americans, a criminal conspiracy and a committed crime. I must attribute the matter to MAGA Republicans. I must make clear that this was ongoing and unresolved. And most importantly, that I must channel all of this unto the manipulation of voter agency so that I could turn their anger around this event into defiance that would make people more likely to vote in midterms. And the thing that struck me the most was this part, where I was told to talk about the aspects of the Trump campaign's plan. And I was supposed to say that the Trump campaign paid literally millions of dollars to make January 6th happen? So I figured, you know, maybe I missed something. So I said, hey, Jane, what is the basis for the claim that the Trump campaign itself paid millions of dollars to make the January 6th siege of the Capitol happen? Jane doesn't answer the question. Hi, Preston. If you don't want to state that in the video, it's fine. You don't have to use all the bullet points provided. So I kept going. Sure, I'm just wondering if there's support for that claim. Jane doesn't answer again. Let me know if you are interested and the rate works for you. Thanks so much. I'm not interested, and the rate doesn't work for me. This is the Good Info Foundation. They boast on their homepage that good information is the lifeblood of a democracy. They further cry that we are in an information crisis. And you know the crazy thing about all of that? They're right. The White House is tapping influencers on apps like TikTok to combat disinformation and get Gen Z fully vaccinated. I wanted to take this time to really urge all of you guys to go get vaccinated. These days, this is what your kids' TikTok feeds are looking like. So please go do your own research and join the millions of us getting vaccinated. Posts and content from their favorite influencers, encouraging young people to get vaccinated. It's the latest effort headed by the Biden administration to get shots in young people's arms. The White House has decided to try this powerful weapon for good. It's asked influencers to spread positive messages and facts about COVID vaccinations with the help of the president's chief medical advisor. What's up, dudes? <laughs> What's, What's up, up Dr. Dr. Fauci? So there are multiple myths going on out there from anything from aliens taking over your body to becoming magnetic. Thank you for what you're doing. It's really important. One sec. Democracy's calling. <laughs> See you, Daddy. Bye. Hi, my name is Cooper, and this is a day in my life as a White House intern. We did a joke. <laughs> hey, everyone. Vogue. Usually, I start off with a big coffee. Sorry, they're like really strict in here. Hey, Jenny, I booked you a nail appointment, love. Yeah, I didn't tell you to do that. It's called initiative. <laughs> Hi, White House, this is Cooper. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, doesn't matter. This is actually the entrance to the West Wing. This is so fun and it's really prestigious. Hey, POTUS. Is Olivia Rodrigo still here? No. We've come a long way in our fight against this virus. We've vaccinated 160 million Americans. Are you getting this all down? Don't worry, Queen. It's all right here. Cooper. Sorry, Miss Jen. And Jen, don't forget to have fun. Spirit fingers, mama. We need to get shots in the arms of every single American. I'm heading to a haircut. 